Good morning everyone. Today I'm back with Collection Obsession again and this will be layout number two and number three. So I might do five because these will be very similar. So I'm doing the twins and this is their first day of school. So this will this one will be for Aiden and this one will be for Alex. And on Alex's I'm going to put a school and on Aiden's I'm going to put a school bus. And I had forgotten to um, put this in my collection obsession. It is the Chippies and it's called, I think it's just called School. Oh, and I have it right here. Yes, School. Okay. So I'm going to use the schoolhouse for Alex's and the bus for Aiden's. And so I've been practicing to figure out how I want to color them. So I've been practicing on here. So um, anyhow, and then I started practicing on the back. Actually, I think I started there. So I'm going to be using this yellow marker because that's what I like the best. And then I'm going to be kind of shading it with tea dye, um, Tim Holtz Distress Inks. And that kind of gave it the most like I thought it would look. So um, that's I'm going to work on that and then I'll come back and, um, and then do the layout. So I'm just going to kind of go over the whole thing with this marker kind of um, using the edge because um, otherwise it would take me so long if I had to do it with the point. <laughs> so I'm going to use this and I'm just going to kind of go over this area and then show you how um, it looks, kind of gives a, the color of a bus by the time I'm done. I tried all different ones. I tried orange. I tried brown. The tea stain, see it kind of has that orange color. And I think I've said this before, antiquing something. So that one um, kind of looks the best to me. And I'll probably go over the windows. Well, obviously I'm going over the windows because I just did. <laughs> and then um, kind of giving it all over too, even though I kind of have certain areas more shaded than others. But you see how that kind of gives that more of a bus color. So I'm going to finish doing that. And let me show you the the schoolhouse, what I'm going to do for that. So um, I have Tim Holtz Fire Brick Red. And I'm gonna do the roof with that. This side, it looks it looks pretty close to what I'm going for. And so I will be putting a washi, like I, I did a washi over here, and then did more of the red in this, because I thought I want the roof to be more red. And then I'm gonna kind of, um, so I really don't want this, well, actually, as much red as I got on there is now is fine. And then um, over the bottom part, I'm going to kind of model some red through it. So it kind of looks like maybe it's red, that red-brown brick, because that's what I think their school looks like. And then I'm going to take some walnut stain and go over that in the parts where I didn't hit it with the red. So then I'll get the, the brown in here, the walnut stain, and this will be mostly walnut stain up in this section. So this part down here, I'm going to, and that's what I have on all these pencils because I tried out those, <laughs> but these, the inks I like the better. But where's my brown pen? And then I have a Creative Memories fine tip pens, and these are probably 20 some years old. And I'm just gonna put in like a um, little brick lines, and they'll just be kind of here and there. 
and then remember it's like always alternating and you want them to look similar to the one not above it but the one above that so um, I will be doing this and I'll, I'll bring it up close so you can see what I'm talking about and I'm not going to do all over I'm just going to kind of do it here and there where um, so that you just have the representation of the brick and in interior design when you draw it and drew up a facet of a house you would do this where you wouldn't do the whole thing you just show like a little bit of what it would really look like so I hope you can see the the brick lines and of course I have no white paper here at all here let me lay it on top of that see kind of see that better and they're not really I mean I can see them really good through here so hopefully you're seeing them really good too let me kind of come in you kind of see that I've done some here 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 and here so I mean this is really looking good I'm thinking that's kind of how I want it to look I don't even know if I'll flip it over and do the other side because I'm thinking this looks really good so um, I might just you know finish doing the roof and kind of go along with this and um, now the clock says like 10 to 2 or if you flip it over it's 10 10 so I re it really doesn't matter because it's all school time so I could use this one just as easy as the other side so I might just keep this because I'm really liking how it looks and somehow I ended up with like this little bit of white but I kind of like that too because it looks like something that would happen in natural brick so um, I'm going to continue with this um, work on the school bus and I'll be back to do the layout well in less than a second for you okay so I have the building done oh and you know I was wondering what that was it was the washi because it kind of pulled up and so then the ink didn't want to take it didn't want to take the ink again so I ended up using one of those pencils I had taken out the one that was called mahogany um, and kind of and actually I, I didn't color it all the way in because I was good with it kind of looking a little rustic there and so I did just continue with this side I really liked how it looked I think the brick looks good the little bit of drawing of the brick and um, you know just one thing you want to remember when you're doing brick it always alternates from the one level to the next and now this one here you know this one I couldn't have chose this side even if I liked how it looked okay so now I'm just gonna I made a strip of paper that will cover this up so it will be black where the letters are instead of whatever I've got on the um, layout the papers so I'm just going to put this piece of black paper here and hopefully it will stick over top of that ink. And I'm going to put some between, a little glue between school and bus. And then just stick that strip right there. I think that should stick good. Well, it looks like I got a little bit of glue there but it, sh it dries clear so it's okay and then I made um, I just punched out circles to go here and if I think it looks like it needs um, another circle in the middle I might go punch out one of those in a smaller size but I think that's looking pretty good but I still might do that okay I just wanted to show you where I was at so it looks pretty good but I think I will punch out some little maybe silver or something like that to put in for like wheel covers and I will get the papers and be right back okay I'm back I know you can't tell what a mess <laughs> my desk is but it's our table actually okay 
So now I'm back to um, put the layout together. So I'm going to do a band design. Let's see, I'm probably have to stand up to do this. Hopefully I won't get my head in the way. Okay, because I'm gonna kind of wallpaper this to do a, the band design. Okay, I just have to make sure my ones are up. Because that's how it was in the in the collection. Okay, and this one I'm just gonna butt it right up against it because you know it's minte paper. I'm hogging every little piece. So oh the paper's wider this way. Or maybe this one just isn't as wide. I don't know. I was just gonna take it out and try stretching it. <laughs> well, you know what? Maybe I'll just run a little bit of black ink right there or something, because that's so weird. Because this made it. I don't know. That's strange to me. Okay. Now I did shorten it a little bit here because the last one, the other Alex's, this one's Aiden's, it looked like it was going to be short, too short. But I actually cut some off this, but obviously off the wrong end. So, so strange. Okay. So, there we have that. Okay, and then I have the exact same pattern, but I have it in the turquoise. And it's got pencils on this side, which is really cute, too. He, he loves numbers, so this is perfect for him. Loads of numbers. This way. And let me see if I can make it straight. I think I need to have it over just a little bit more. Up there. Okay, that should be straight. And you know, I have to check it every way. <laughs> okay, now my pictures. Okay. So this one's Aiden. So it's so funny because it's like um, she took, I don't know how many pictures of the kids. And he looks good and her eyes are closed. He's like over it, not really smiling. And then her eyes are open. So it's like, okay, so... They both have different poses together because of who's ever picture turned out the best. So, and then they're friends, and so they're all going to the bus stop. Or actually, the bus stop stops there. So. So, I'm going to put this down here. Did I even tape down that last one? I don't think, I didn't even tape down her group picture. And you can see she's running out to, she's back here, running out to the um, bus stop because every day mom takes a picture of them. And I don't know if she did like a um, thing where you'd see like a picture every day for a year or not, but I know she does like something where it shows one second of a picture or something like that for the for a month which is it's pretty neat to see okay let me see if I can get this in the middle don't let me forget to tape down that other one because I didn't tape it down I tucked it in and just left it okay so I'm just Lining this up so it's got an inch on each side because I'm using the whole, um, what is it, six by eight, right? Yeah, six by eight. Okay, so that's that. 
And then where's my parts here? Okay, I'm using First Day of School from from the, do I have it out here? It is from Simple Stories, of course. They're, I think I had bought this from Peachy Cheap, and so it's called School Life. So I'm using that, and I'm gonna just stick it right down here. Nope, I don't wanna do that, because I'm going to tuck in this, but I want it on this side. And I want the sunflower to show, because he loves yellow. Actually, he told me he likes all colors. And I have to say, I'm just like him. And sometimes, you know, mine changes. I know for quite a while, my favorite color was purple and green. But for forever, I've kind of loved blue. And, you know, it's whatever color I decide I'm doing the house in, a, in is my favorite color at the moment or whatever. <laughs> okay. And then they both wear glasses, so I have the glasses. From the element sheet and I think these were from the um, 6x8 and even though I want to make sure the yellow is showing it's like the glasses are kind of covering it up and then I have since he's going to have the school bus on his I put the um, kids crossing Here's my things I'm looking for. When I made Fleur the other day, I, I tried to make some school ones. So I'd have some. And then I'm going to use the paper airplane. And I think I'm having it, I want it there or here. Maybe I'll put it here. Okay. Now, I'm the section over here, because I'm doing my triangle here, I'm going to put the book bag. For a minute I thought I heard my camera shut down. Must have been a bird, it makes the same noise. <laughs> Okay, and in the backpack there is pencils and a paintbrush, so I'm just putting a little bit of glue on there because it'll be harder to glue later. And I'm just going to let that overlap the picture. And then I have the pencil and the, what is it called? It's a Pencil and paintbrush cup. I guess that's what you call it. And again, I'm just gluing the things that are skinny. And actually, I'm just going to go ahead and glue the whole thing since. I like to tape just because if I have to pull it up, I can. <laughs> it's really hard, you know, if you... Or impossible. Hard or impossible. Okay. And then I have a book. So I'm going to put that down here also. And let's see, I'm going to kind of use that to cover up the, where I didn't cut out here. But I would have cut it out if I, if I was not going to put this here. But I already know I was putting it there. Okay, and then I have this apple. And I'm going to, is it going to go behind? I think it's going to go back here. Make sure I'm in the screen. And 
and maybe I want to pull this up so it sticks out a little bit since I have that there and I actually have some I wanted to say gluten-free <laughs> I have some gluten-free <laughs> chipboard I mean some acid free <laughs> Because usually it's the gluten free I'm thinking of. <laughs> okay, so will this fit on there? Nope, I'm going to have to angle it. Is that? Nope, I'm going to have to put a little more glue underneath there for tape. I'm just going to glue it. So I'm going to put this back where I had it. Whoop, and not upside down. It suddenly got really hot in here. <laughs> I should have opened up the door or something. Okay, and then I have the scissors. And I'm just going to... Where do I want them? I think I'm just going to kind of tuck them there. Or do I want them here? I don't know. I, I want to put them in the cup like my, at my house. Okay, where do I want to put them? Do I want to kind of do this? I think I'm going to do that. So I'm going to put a little bit of chipboard right underneath the center part. So it looks like it's gluten. Or so it looks like it's kind of sitting over the book too. So I'm going to put a little glue here. This part of it won't be touching, so I won't put glue everywhere, but here and here, and of course on that piece of chipboard. Okay, I think that's good there. Okay, now I got this painted, never, or let's see, I got it inked, I got it magic markered. I put um, two circles on to make the center or to make the wheel covers and I had this one gray where it was kind of flat gray but it had, looked like it had speckles and then I had the smaller the paper I punched with the smaller circle it's actually kind of reflective it's kind of a silver it looks metallic and I kept thinking it would be so cool if you if there were, I could put some silhouettes of children back there and I laid it on top of this and I thought oh my gosh look at there's a kid for every window but that one there it's like how perfect is that so I went and printed another one so I am going to let's see kind of put some glue here and here oh and you know you can't see. I'm gonna put glue at the top and at the bottom. I don't know if I maybe I put a dab of glue here and here and here. And then I just gotta be able to line it up. And I'm gonna just line it up here and get every kid. Whoops! I gotta have it underneath my nose, I guess, because the kid that Aiden is standing next to is short and Aiden's had a growth spurt so he's tall so there we go okay I'm just gonna push that for a couple seconds so I've got the kids in the school bus and I thought well now I don't have a bus driver so I tried to find another person that same size and then I didn't know if they needed to be here or here but so I looked up pictures on um, just on Google like pictures of a school bus driver through the window and you always seen them through this door so um, I actually found a picture of Aiden um, where he was sitting in a truck that I was that I've already done let me sh so he was in here So, I mean, it's a tiny picture. It's going to be smaller than the kids. But they're up against the window, and he's a bus driver, so he's sitting on the other side. 
So it makes perfect sense to me. So I'm going to glue him in here. And I probably want to tuck him underneath that other one just a little bit because I'm going to just glue it at the bottom and at the top. And now I've really pushed a lot of glue there. I want to tuck it underneath because I can see that picture just a little bit. Whoops, there we go. I got to make sure I can see him. Oh, yeah, perfect. <laughs> I thought I might have just stuck him there. And he looks like he's in there. Here, I'll just kind of pull it in a little bit so you can see. He looks like he's really in there. Isn't that cute? It's so funny because I, I didn't think about it until I thought, oh, I need, I would like to have kids in the school bus. So let me push out there. So now I have kids in the school bus. I'm so excited about that. Okay, and now I'm going to put some tape on the school bus and put that where it goes. They will be static about that. So I'm just going to put this right here. i got to make sure um, I have the little guy that I'm going to put on it. So i got to make sure I have enough room for him because he's going to go right here. So Aiden's represented a lot here. <laughs> okay, so I'm just going to put up there where you can kind of see the turquoise through the bus window. Okay, and I see I forgot to cut between here, and I'm going to do that. So I'm going to pause it again, and I'll be right back. Okay, I've got him cut out. And, you know, it's not perfect, but I like to see a little bit of airspace, I guess, in there. And then I put some of the chipboard behind him. Because I'm trying to use some of those chipboard scraps I have. Okay, and I'm just going to put him right here behind the bus. Oh, I guess he's going to lean against the bus a little bit. <laughs> okay, so I think I have everything on here except for enamel dots. And I'm going to use yellow. Because yellow is one of those colors that does make me think of school. I think because of school buses and pencils, probably mostly because of pencils. I've always liked to draw, so I always have a pencil. Well, sometimes. Sometimes I can't find one. <laughs> I don't know where they go. Okay, and I'm just scattering these around again. Good there. Okay, let me close this glue up. Well, maybe not because I'm going to show you Alex's, and I'll eat, I'll probably run some black ink right here, the black soot, so I don't have to trim it because that will be difficult. And here's Alex's, and since Aiden got the school bus with kids in it, I put her and her bestie. I took this one and cut it or sized it down. The other one I didn't need to for the school bus. They were the perfect size. So these ones I had to size down to half of this. And so her and her bestie are up here upstairs in the school. Um, I couldn't get the boys to all fit in there so I thought well I'll just do the one. And I forgot to... I tucked this in after I glued it down the school. And totally forgot to tape it. So I better put something there <laughs> to keep it from just falling off the page. So
so hers is just the opposite of his basically and I have too much stuff on my desk probably to show you them both together but let me try it and I will do it in the close-ups even if I can't do it here I have so much stuff <laughs> from coloring and all that okay let's see if I can kind of get it here together so well together you got both the twins there together so oh and I took the um, the one that's called carved pumpkin that ink and just kind of brush over his hair because Aiden's kind of blonde to red so I thought that way it'd get look a little more like his hair if I put that little bit of carved pumpkin on there so that's it for today and everybody that's playing along with the collection obsession their name will and their link will be listed down below and um, the, all, all month long each of us are doing four layouts with one collection so I've already done one now these are the two um, these are two more, but I'll probably still do two more because I really only had to use two pieces of paper to do both these and the six by eights. So, but I used a school and a school bus. So thank you for joining me. Have a wonderful day and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.